want you to hit me as hard as you can. What's up guys, it's Ashrakul aka Ashi and uh, I got a awesome BO3 gameplay here for you. It's actually the game just before the last commentary that I made. It's a high scoring game with the EMR and uh, yeah, it's before I unlocked everything. So I actually unlocked the ACOG during this game so you're going to see me use the ACOG later on. Not my horrible aim with the stupid 8x scope. <laughs> I, I have problems with the 8x scopes in this game and just sniping in general, so I have to put an 8-cog in my sniper rifles or I just I, I suck. But uh, yeah, uh, Ted Hunter got back to me and uh, you're listening to Ted Hunter right now. He actually gave me permission to use some more of his music. Um, you can see that in the right corner there it says Ted Hunter. I'm going to leave that there. It's going to have an annotation on it. It's going to be able for you to click it and go to his channel and check out his other content. Uh, you'll have links to his SoundCloud and everything on his channel page, not to mention in the description below. Uh, that is there just so you can go check out his content and subscribe if you like it. I also have in the left corner my name, Ashi, and you can click that and that'll send to my channel. If you click any of those links though, don't worry, it won't send you off the video, it'll just open up a new tab or a new page or a new window or something like that whatever browser you're using to watch the video today so uh yeah go subscribe to 10 hunter and check out his content and whatever he also opened up his soundcloud all the downloads on there are uh, now free to download everything like that you can go download it put it on your ipod do whatever you want put it in your itunes listen to it all day uh, he also has a little teaser for an upcoming uh upcoming uh songs they sound really awesome like I can't wait to see those and listen to them. But uh, yeah, getting on to a little bit of the topic today uh, that kind of relates to me putting the link for my channel up in the left corner there. So uh, it, it, it's basically about the new design and how smaller channels and channels in general have been affected by it. And uh, just how YouTube has made it harder for little channels to grow. So uh, I, I'm a little channel if you did not know. I have about 500 subs. I just hit 500 subs. Really grateful. Really happy about it. Awesome. Every sub is a celebration though. <laughs> so uh, I'm always happy about growing whether it be one sub a day or 10. And uh, basically I want to talk about the homepage first. So I have a lot to talk about so I'm going to talk really really fast uh, so I can get everything, everything into this commentary. So uh, first things first. I like the design. I, I like it, but it's small and it's cramped. Basically, if you did not know, the reason why it's in the middle and it's small and cramped is because people are still using Windows 98 and still using 800 resolution and uh, small 4x3 screens. Get with the times, people. Go buy a new computer and get a new screen. It's time. <laughs> if you're still using that stuff, you're affecting me. <laughs> I need a bigger, a widescreen YouTube homepage. I, I wish they even put maybe an option to have a widescreen homepage. Maybe uh, it'll look better. I don't know. I just, I, I don't like it all cramped and small. I think it, I think there's, there's valuable web space that they have on the left and right there that's just not being used at all. Um, the next thing is the subscription boxes and the, uh, the comparison to the last one, how it's affected channels. Um, if you did not know, the last sub box if you uploaded a video say at 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, basically that would go to subs that were in the UK right so 
when people get off work and when people get out of school and just before dinner or whatever, that's when the most people are on YouTube and viewing videos, if you did not know. So in the UK, I think it's about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock or whatever, that's when their, their time is. So if I upload a video then, they're going to watch it. But generally, North Americans and everything like that are still in school, still at work, still doing their thing, whatever, having lunch. Uh, and they're not going to view it. But then I would upload maybe another video around 3 or 4 o'clock. And not only would the video that I uploaded at 10 o'clock be bumped up. But that other video would be there and everyone would be able to view it. So basically you'd be able to catch up. Now you can't do that. Now it's just a straight list uh, timeline that you can't edit or anything. So basically bigger channels that constantly upload are trumping all the small channels that don't upload that much or even channels that upload once a week which is totally acceptable totally acceptable but uh, channels that upload constantly uh, for example Machinima Respawn they upload 15 fucking times a day that, that's almost once an hour they're always at least in my in my timeline at least two or three videos uh, in my timeline uh, problems with the, the subscription uh, box now is that you can't hit X to delete a video from your timeline. Uh, you can't, uh, even if you watch the video, refresh the page, go back to the home page, it does not erase it. Th these are just basic problems that they, they should have been in, in the initial design. Um, so basically, it do now you everyone's just uploading at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time because that's when the most people are on YouTube. Granted that they're North American, whatever. But uh, I, I still try to upload varyingly uh, throughout the day just because I want everyone to see my videos and it, it kind of sucks when I upload at 3 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the afternoon it's like, you know, almost bedtime for other people in the world. So that kind of sucks. I mean, it, it's a global website. Why, why, why are they making it a timeline like that where it's affected, you know, basically whoever uploads the most is going to always be on the home page because uh you know subscribers I, i'm a subscriber to other channels yeah I have, i'm subscribed to about 100 people so i i watch tons of videos all day constantly and to have that it really affects not smaller it really does affect smaller channels it really does um one thing i do like uh about the new home page is that top favorited and uh is gone and everything like that top liked or whatever uh, trending and featured algorithms are uh, really random right now so channels like FPS Russia and white boy and whatever can't really abuse it yet I'm sure they'll figure out something but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much what I talk about oh yeah 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 pins I gotta talk about pins basically if you did not know when you hit edit subscriptions or subscriptions and you go to, to where it lists all your subs You'll be able to click on the right side beside their name, I pin, and basically you can pin pen, uh, pin ten channels. And uh, the I think now I, I've I noticed this when I was pinning channels. I was like, wait a second, and you know I'm pinning channels that have you know great infrastructure when it comes to their channels. They got tons of people following them on Twitter. They have tons of people following them on Facebook and everything like that. Why am I pinning them videos? I'm constantly seeing those. So my tip to you guys is to pin smaller channels. I, I think this should be uh, an absolute big thing that everyone should do. You should pin smaller channels and constantly check them because smaller channels are losing out when it comes to the new homepage. Uh, bigger channels, they got Facebook, they're on your timeline, they're, you have, you're following them on Twitter, you're, you're constantly going to their channel or whatever because they're, they're, they're trending or whatever in the, in the world of YouTube. So you're constantly seeing their videos. When it comes to a smaller channel, you might not be seeing it. You're missing out on their content. So I, pin smaller channels. You don't have to pin me. I'm not begging you to pin me. You know, I don't expect uh, my active sub base to pin me at all. Uh, if you do, thank you very much. And uh, I'm glad that you pinned me. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the channel page. And I got to really push this out because I got like five minutes to go. Um, first of all, I really like the channel design. The channel design is beautiful. It's nice and spaced out. It feels big. Um, big thumbnails. No more scrolling for videos on the right side there. Uh, I really like the featured tab when it's in the blogger view. 
uh, that's really nice that's the mainly what I'm talking about if you don't know what I mean go check out my channel click the left annotation up on the top there you'll see my channel and how it looks you also be able to see older videos that you may have missed um, but uh, yeah, I really like the new design for the channel page. I really like the links on the right side there. One thing I'd like, though, is customization when it comes to what's on that right side of the page. So you have your About Me, you have your links, you have your uh, featured playlist, and you have your featured channels. I want to put my featured channels to the top. I want to put my playlist to the bottom. I want to put my About Me and my links in the middle. And that's basically because I, I like supporting little channels or channels my size people I work with, people that, you know, I've worked with on YouTube, like, for example, Captain Stevo, who, you know, I did, you know, 40 some odd videos with, uh, back before BF3 came out, not to mention, I'm constantly talking to him, he's a good friend, I met him on YouTube, and now he's really a really great friend, you know, we shared phone numbers, <laughs> constantly talking to each other now, so, you know, uh, for, for, I want that feature channel to be at the top. You know, I want to support those people that, you know, help me out, and I help them out. It's always, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. And, uh, that's, that's the way I work with, even if, uh, when it comes to just viewers, you know. I, I constantly talk to my, my subs and everything like that. But, uh, getting back on topic. Um, not to mention, uh, customization and everything like that, but if you remember, the, the reason why people are boxed is just because there, there was a... I wouldn't call it a trick. Uh, I call it clever, that's for sure. But uh, basically, if you subscribe to the people on the channel page, you subscribe to them, and when you hit the subscribe button, a window would pull down and basically said, "Would you like to subscribe to these channels?" And if you hit the sub bo bo uh, the box, uh, the sub, the subscription button. <laughs> oh my god, I'm I'm really struggling with words lately. <laughs> Jesus, the subscription button at the bottom. You would subscribe to all the channels that were listed there. Now that was the trick. You know, I'm using my Cody fingers right now. That was the trick. But uh, yeah, that's not my intention to use that. My intention was for other people to get a little bit of uh, recognition, a little bit of uh, exposure uh, of being in the box, being on my channel page, and having that as just a bat. You know, just a, a chance that they might get subbed to. Uh, but uh, now. If you have under a hundred subscribers on your channel right now, and you're in someone's box, you will not show up when they hit that subscribe button. Did you know that? I just figured that out. You will not be uh, given the chance for exposure or anything like that if you hit that subscribe button and you have a hundred subs. So boxing really doesn't do anything now. And it's really a big slap in the fucking face from YouTube. And I'm sorry for swearing, but that really does, it personally pisses me off because I remember how long it took me to get a hundred subs. It took me months. It was the longest grind of my life <laughs> to get a hundred subs. Uh, it really is hard when people see that you're not getting that many views or you don't have that many subscribers, people generally judge you off that instead of your content you know and, and no one gets views when they have low subscribers at all I mean for a little while some people are talking to themselves just talk I, I think I talked to myself for a little bit you know no one was viewing it I was just talking just talking you know I could have been sitting here with a cup of coffee just talking and it would have been to nobody maybe one person maybe a family member or a friend <laughs> that's it that's all that would be there so uh I, I, that that's my review on the new design and uh this is how you can help me. Um, I, I don't ask for this or anything like that, and I'm not begging you to do it, but I do have a Facebook fan page. I do have a Twitter, and uh, there will be links in the description to follow me on there. Uh, I talk constantly on Twitter, constantly to subscribers, constantly to other people. Uh, on Facebook, I only post a video. I don't spam you or anything like that. Uh, you can follow me on there, follow me on Twitter. I'd really, really appreciate it just to get my, view, uh, my videos out to you in another way. Uh, you can also, every every video, there's going to be up in the left corner there, Ashi. You can click that, check out my channel page. Uh, I'll constantly have videos up. You probably have not seen some of the videos that have come out in the past week. Go check them out. Uh, subscribe to Ted Hunter. I got to go. I'll see you guys later. Peace.